Hi from Arctic Lights Adventures again. It's March. It's um, beautiful out here. The daylight, uh, the daytime temperatures are in the teens and twenties. The nights are pretty cold still. It's it's maybe ten below, but um, the day is so beautiful. We have blue sky, and the sun is up for over twelve hours already. We are really enjoying the last weeks of our winter. I know that it's hard to believe, but within the next weeks, um, all this beautiful snow will turn into slush and we will start our muddy season. And that's really my least favorite one. But if I should pick, or if I have to pick, had to pick one favorite month of the year, I think it's March. We really try to do as much as possible. We did a lot of skiing. We even got skating cross-country skis, which we now try to learn. We went on a dog sled tour. We live in a dog sledding community and you would think that, yeah, what's so special about that? Well, we don't have a dog team. Ari pulls my kick sled, but oh, I really love mushing. And without a dog team for us, well, we have to go on tours. And this tour that we did on our anniversary was not just a typical get into the sled and ride around the neighborhood tour. This tour was called Mushing School and that meant we were able to drive our own dog sled. Well, let me say, you really hang on to that sled when you're on the runners. Therefore, we don't have very much footage from the ride itself. And actually, I didn't film any of it. I had a really hard time hanging on. But Dave was brave enough to take his phone out and film a little bit of the ride. So if you ever make it to Alaska, preferably March, really consider doing a mushing school tour or even longer dog sled expedition where you can ride, drive your own dog sled. It's absolutely worth it. It's so amazing and you really, really should try it. Can you join us for the mushing school? Yeah. Awesome. Are you ready, Dave? I'm ready. We went with Paws for Adventure. This is where I did mushing school 15 years ago. First we met all the dogs. It's really important to know how to break on the sled. Okay. Well, I'll go with you, and Anka, I will give you this one, and you're going to get Steve. Next, we set up our teams. We set up the teams for the test ride with the mushers, and later on, our own ones. All the dogs are very excited. They all want to go. We learned about the different dog positions like lead dog, swing dog, team dog, wheel dog. 
We are teams of five dogs, which is really plenty for beginners. There's nothing better than traveling a dog sled. Good doggies. Good doggies. So Anka, Anka, is this curing you of wanting sled dogs? Is it what? Curing you. No. So now you've decided you don't want them anymore. I just thought, you know what, if the one team would be bad. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> good doggies, good doggies. Hey, hey, hey. Good doggies. No! Yes. No yes. way! Yes! Yes! We are at Ice Alaska oh, and after playing a little bit at all the icy games <laughs> we are going now I won Well, I won the beanbag throwing Alright, and the golf and No, the you won the golf, I gave up on that The ping pong I probably won Oh, the sky looks uh, We are now probably very good. Now probably uh, going to check out the ice, the actual ice sculptures here The other nice thing about March is that for another maybe four weeks our nights are still dark enough for northern lights watching. From mid-April on it's not getting dark enough anymore so therefore we enjoyed the last weeks 
to and watch some really really beautiful northern lights we were lucky the sun activity was high and so therefore we really had amazing lights the other night i really wanted to go to bed and i had a one last glance out of, outside of the window window and i saw the lights dancing right above our house and i thought ah i had to go outside i had to take my camera and i had to take some pictures Sorry, no time lapse. I really wanted photos, but I'll share my photos with you and they are amazing too. I, ah, it was so perfect. So now I think we will go cross-country skiing and we will go skating. We Just the other day, last week, we bought skating skis. Usually we did classic because with classic skis we can also go to the backcountry. But we thought, ah, we want to try skating. It always looks so easy. But heck, was I wrong. There's nothing easy about it. And um, we will brave it today again and we will go again. As always, I hope you enjoyed this little March video and I hope you stay healthy, stay safe. Say thank you for each and every one who subscribed to my channel and watched my videos. It's My channel is one year old now. Yeah, the Corona pandemic is one year and this is how, when I started the channel. Um, and yeah, I hope maybe one day I can see you here in Alaska in person. That would be absolutely awesome. If you ever come here, just let me know. And until then, as I said, stay healthy, stay safe, and see you at the next video. Bye.